Hey guys, welcome to Medicine Medicine. On another segment of pediatrics, we will be discussing about rubella. Here we have tried to incorporate a bit of microbiology and a lot of pediatrics so that it would be easier for you guys to understand it. Now let's get started. Rubella is also known as German measles and is characterized by mild exanthematous rash and fever. It may also lead to congenital rubella syndrome in the neonates whose mother have been infected with rubella during their pregnancy and especially within the first trimester. Rubella is highly teratogenic and is included under the agents causing congenital infection known as Torch complex, which includes Toxoplasma, Varicella and Syphilis, Rubella virus, Cytomegalovirus, and Herpes simplex virus. Did you know that America became the world's first reason to eliminate rubella and congenital rubella syndrome in April 2015, according to WHO? Rubella virus belongs to family Togoviridae. The virus is roughly spherical in shape with diameter of about 50 to 70 nanometer. The virus envelope is made up of lipoprotein with projecting glycoprotein spikes which encloses icosahedral nucleocapsid inside which lies the single-stranded RNA genome of the virus. This virus was first isolated from tissue culture in 1962. The mode of transmission for rubella virus is either via droplet infection or transplacentally causing congenital rubella syndrome. The virus can also be shared through blood, feces or urine. Talking about the respiratory infection, the rubella spreads via respiratory droplets and replicates locally in the nasopharynx and then spreads to local lymph nodes after which the viremia develops within 7 to 9 days. The incubation period for this viral infection is about 14 days, after which rashes begin to appear. These rashes are generalized and maculopapular in nature, which first develop on the face and then spread to neck and trunk. These rashes are also sometimes referred to as morbiliform rashes. In older children and adults, the rashes are preceded by low-grade fever, malaise, and lymphadenopathy. In fact, lymphadenopathy is the striking feature of this infection and involves occipital and posterior auricular lymph nodes. Similarly, one can see the morbiliform rashes which begin from face and then spread towards the trunk. In case of infection in pregnancy, the neonates may be seen with congenital rubella syndrome. These particular spots in soft palate are known as Forchamer spots and are present in about 20% of people with rubella. However, they are not diagnostic of rubella as similar kind of spots can be noticed in case of scarlet fever as well as measles. During pregnancy, 90% of infants have congenital defects. If mother acquires infection before 12th week of pregnancy or within first trimester, as the trimesters progress, the infection gets milder. By the time it's third trimester, the infection won't cause any defect to the fetus or the newborn. Congenital rubella syndrome is the most serious consequence of rubella occurring as a result of rubella infection in pregnant women within the first trimester. This syndrome consists of dried of cataract, hearing defect, and cardiac defect. Sensory neural defect is the most common hearing defect in this syndrome, whereas patent doctor's arteriosis is the most common cardiac defect in this syndrome. The triad may also be accompanied by CNS defects such as microcephaly, mental retardation or motor delay. Sometimes the defects may be multiple and include hepatosplenomegaly, thrombocytopenic purpura, bone lesions along with the classical triad. Then the syndrome is recognized as expanded rubella syndrome and has more severe consequences than the congenital rubella syndrome itself. So this is what a cataract of congenital rubella syndrome in infant looks like and this was the first clinical manifestation that was noticed by Australian ophthalmologist Craig in 1941 as a result of which the relationship between congenital cataract and maternal rubella was later discovered. Diagnosis of congenital rubella syndrome mainly relies on serology, demonstration of IgM antibodies without IgG antibodies in pregnant women denote acute infection. As the IgM antibodies do not cross placenta, their presence in a neonate is diagnostic of congenital rubella syndrome. 
Along with the clinical manifestations, the diagnosis can be made being based on serology which would demonstrate the presence of rubella-specific IgM antibody in a single serum sample. In some places, reverse transcriptase PCR technique has been used to isolate the viral genome. Virus isolation can also be done for diagnosis but it is not usually performed as one may fail to isolate the virus completely. Complications include arthralgia and arthritis, thrombocytopenic purpura, and progressive rubella panencephalitis, which is a slow vital infection of brain due to rubella characterized by chronic encephalitis and involves neurological changes such as seizures, ataxia, spastic weakness, and optic atrophy. So, pediatrics is all about differential diagnosis and here we have listed some of it for rubella infection which includes measles, scarlet fever, roseola infantum, infectious mononucleosis and drug rash. Rubella infection once acquired confers lifelong immunity, hence life attenuated vaccines have been developed for prophylaxis which is indicated in children and women of childbearing age group. As the virus has high teratogenicity, prophylaxis seems to be relevant in women of childbearing age group. It is to be noted that this vaccine is contraindicated during pregnancy. Treatment is only supportive with plenty of fluid intake and paracetamol for reducing fever as rubella is a self-limiting disease with no such treatment available. It would be rather good for everyone to undertake the major for prophylaxis by taking rubella vaccine rather than curing for the disease itself. We hope we could help you a bit with this video. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, drop them in the comment section below. See you soon with another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.